Good morning, everybody, and this is your Euro USD setups for today. So, uh, when yesterday started, it was looking like it was actually going to break to the downside of, um, of the level we were looking at yesterday. But uh, again, there's a perfect lesson in how this market works. Uh, moving averages are crossed over, pointing up, and uh, you're coming back to test a strong area of support at 107.354. On the 8th hour, you can see it's pretty clear. Second attempt down, big engulfing bar, and that's my trigger now to be long. And uh, my move should be along these lines, because that was the move up. There's my flag, my flag break. So there's my ultimate target, but I would argue you've got a little bit of chaos ahead of you so this pin bar you can see how it's been affecting price this week and end of last week so i think we need to get above that first build a base up here at 107.922 then we take profit at 108.352 get back in for on the pullback and then we go for the measured move so that's kind of the the levels that we've got at the moment but uh, let's just get down to the day the intraday trading so for now on the weekly this is top of range and uh, i'm just going to put that weekly level in there at 107.285 now looking at my oscillators this is telling me top of range break to the downside nothing wrong with that but that still lines up the measured move so this is your move up range break the range come back and test the range that is still your measured move which is one uh, zero eight nine two three so if we drop down to the hour and um, you can see yesterday below the moving averages dropping below the 150 so you know you would have been looking for well, not looking, but I think my mind was definitely changing and starting to wonder whether we should rather be looking for the shorts. But um, anyway, we've got this big engulfing bar and then ground higher. So at the moment, you're looking for these pullbacks and uh, we're sort of in the first area. We're just below it, but uh, 107, 107. 7769 if you just look left you see all these tails in that area so for all intents purposes we are top of range at the moment uh, granted we had this uh, break of a trend line but remember when you do that you'd expect price to pull all the way back down to the kind of uh, where would it be somewhere in this space here 107486 before moving back to the upside so you need to be cautious uh, it's not as clear cut as what we're seeing on the indexes the indexes is pretty much clear cut uh, you should get a couple of days of decent moves to the upside and bear in mind i'm not around next week so this is kind of a weekly view and uh, the weekly view for me is if we just clear 107.922 come back and test it then it's definitely onwards and upwards and that should be the range break and uh, you should be pretty much fine on that kind of trade uh, for today strong move yesterday then we sort of flattened out going into the close but look at my oscillators now all grouping to the to the bottom crossing over we're in amongst the moving averages here so this uh, 107769, I want to see price come up, come back and test it. Then I'm looking for a move up. First profit area is 107922. Break that, retest that. Then I have a much better structured move all the way up to 108352. And then obviously reject that. Find a base on whatever base has been built. Uh, look for the second move there. If we get through then you're holding on and you can probably add if you wanted to or just take profit at the next level, drop back down and then onwards and upwards. So basically rinse and repeat the whole week as it moves to the upside. Now, from a weekly perspective, you can see we're coming back into this, the area of the moving averages, but look at the 
oscillators here. This is setting up quite nicely and you've got a weekly trend line which uh, could also influence things. And you can see, make sure I've got that exact, no I don't. Get it. We'll get it now. Just give me one sec. Oh, it doesn't want to go there. You love it when that happens. But anyway, um, just check on your charts. You'll see there is definitely there's definitely a weekly diagonal bit of resistance, and it's right here where we are at the moment. So you need to be a little bit cautious. Oh, yes, you're not going to really see it there. Let's see if we can pick it up on the three hour. Yeah, so here it is here. You can see on the three hour, look at all these tails. One, two, three, four, and then five. So you're going to be very careful of not getting caught out. So this level at 107.922 is critical. We need to get above it and come back and test it from a weekly perspective. And then that would break this trend line. So it'll be messy in this area. So it should be, um, if it happens today, it's going to be messy. But if it happens early next week, it's going to be really messy. It'll be up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Until it gets some traction and then starts moving. So um, that's kind of my outlook at the moment. I think we, we're still poised. What you want to be doing is just go with the flow. The flow is onwards and upwards at the moment, but be very wary of this level ahead of you at 107.922. So you should get an opportunity to buy somewhere on one of these levels and then take profit here. I wouldn't hold on to it. It should pull back maybe come back to the tie of yesterday, build a base there, and then a second attempt. But you'll probably find two, three, or four attempts at this diagonal trend line before it actually gets through. So um, yeah, just be very careful of that. Once that breaks, I think you've got a really good opportunity um, and easy trades to the upside. Anyway, that's my view for the next week. I hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you um, week after next. Cheers for now.